Do we inhabit a solitary universe? This is a question that has plagued people for a very long time. Scientists are expecting to finally solve this mystery now that the James Webb Space Telescope is up and running. One of the JWST's major tasks is to investigate Proxima b, an exoplanet that orbits the star that is closest to our Sun and has already revolutionized our understanding of space observation. The mission's experts, however, think that the lights coming from Proxima b may not even be natural at all, but rather artificial in nature. Yes, we are discussing the potential for extraterrestrial life. What information will the JWST provide about this mysterious exoplanet? What kind of information can be drawn out of the images captured? Is it terrifying? You will get to know this and many more as we dive into details. However, before getting started with the video officially, here's a quick reminder that you can subscribe for free and like the video so that we can boost the algorithm. Comments are most welcomed. Questions to be answered. The huge enigmatic night sky above us is dotted with stars that shine in the shadows. But what if we told you that amid those stars, there might be extraterrestrial life that is just waiting to be found? For many years, scientists have been looking for extraterrestrial life. Currently, they are concentrating on an exoplanet known as Proxima b. So what exactly is going on with Proxima b? What is it? Why are scientists interested in it? And where is it? More importantly, what are they found on this far-off planet that is upsetting the scientific establishment? How did the James Webb Space Telescope verify these unsettling results? You can see the stars flashing like diamonds on a velvet background when you look up at the night sky. Do you realize that planets also revolve around these stars? These distant worlds, known as exoplanets, are too far away to be seen with the human eye, and for a number of reasons, even telescopes have trouble spotting them. They might, however, be concealing something amazing like alien life. Proxima b and other exoplanets are thought to be in a habitable zone, where life may flourish. For years, scientists have been keen to investigate them, but they have been constrained by a lack of resources, but no longer. Scientists now have a new tool in their arsenal for the hunt for extraterrestrial life, thanks to the most advanced and powerful James Webb Space Telescope. They're searching for unmistakable signs of life even though they don't expect to see little green fellas wandering around. What exactly alerts scientists to the possibility of extraterrestrial life or even living things on a planet? Well, since its discovery, researchers have focused on the intriguing Proxima b. It stands out because it revolves around Proxima Centauri, one of the peculiar trio of stars that has baffled scientists for a long time. The other two stars, Alpha Centauri A and B, are in a binary system, which means they revolve around a single gravitational center. Actually, the third brightest star in the sky, Alpha Centauri, is plainly visible without a telescope. However, because of its proximity to Proxima B, Proxima Centauri has drawn the attention of scientists. Proxima is 4.22 light years from Earth, which is slightly closer than the other two stars, while being smaller and fainter than Alpha Centauri. However, as a red dwarf, it is too dim to be seen with the unaided eye. Only 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun's distance, or 4.6 million miles, or 7.5 million kilometers, separates Proxima b from its parent star. The orbit of Proxima b places it in the habitable region of Proxima Centauri where conditions are ideal for liquid water to exist on the planet's surface. That makes it a fascinating potential host for life. To see Proxima Centauri from Earth, however, astronomers have had to rely on specialized equipment due to the planet's relative proximity to its star. Proxima b is currently the closest Earth-like exoplanet we've found, but it's still more than four light years away. In other words, using our existing technology, it would take us thousands of years to get there. Furthermore, we are unable to directly monitor Proxima b from Earth due to Proxima b's orbital alignment. As a result, if you were to look directly at the star, you would not be able to see the planet, since, as seen from Earth, it does not pass in front of its star. Because of this, it is difficult for astronomers to draw precise assumptions regarding Proxima b's orbital path, and they are unsure of whether it has an almost circular or a very elliptical orbit. Additionally, some researchers think that the planet might not have always been in the star's habitable zone. Proxima b may have formed too close to Proxima Centauri and stayed there for millions of years as a result of the star's transition from a hotter star to a main sequence star, JWST. In their drive to find more exoplanets and look for extraterrestrial life, 
astronomers' ability to use the James Webb Space Telescope changed the game. In fact, one of the telescope's main goals is to look for signs of extraterrestrial life. One way the Webb Telescope will employ to explore exoplanets is the transit method. Coronagraphs will also be used by the telescope to directly image exoplanets that are close to bright stars, although the resulting image will only be a single point rather than a broad panorama. However, by using the JWST to study this region, astronomers will be able to learn more about the exoplanet, including its color, flora, and even weather patterns. The Allen Telescope Array, which consists of 42 radio antennas, has been used by SETI researchers to look for signals across a variety of radio frequencies, with a particular emphasis on the area surrounding the 20,000 red dwarf stars that are nearest to the planet. This is only a part of the quest for extraterrestrial life, though. Even tiny microbes can be considered to be living things, and advanced telescopes are capable of detecting the chemical signals they generate. For instance, scientists are keeping an eye out for the presence of atmospheric gases like oxygen, which may imply life. They must exercise caution when interpreting these gases, or compounds, though, as they might have causes rather than life. Now, why is Proxima b of importance to astronomers? The explanation is that it might be a stony, terrestrial planet with liquid water that resembles Earth. The exoplanet is tidally locked, which means that one side is always facing the star, and the other is in constant darkness, and orbits a fainter, less massive star. Proxima b may have the elements needed for the biochemical process that we identify with life, such as water, carbon dioxide, and rock, even though it is unknown if it has an atmosphere. Scientists are intrigued by yet another similarity between Proxima b and Earth. They both live in the region around their own stars known as the Goldilocks Zone, which is where life might be able to survive. Proxima b receives around two-thirds of the energy that Earth does while orbiting its star at a distance that is only one-twelfth of Earth's distance from its own sun. It is conceivable that Proxima b has water due to its distance and the star's lower brightness, and not just any water, liquid water, which is necessary for life to exist. What if the enigmatic Proxima b harbors advanced extraterrestrial life? The powerful radiation from the exoplanet's host star, which is only 4.5 million miles away, and about a tenth as far away as Mercury is from the Sun as its closest point, has led scientists to hypothesize that life on the planet may find it difficult to evolve on the day side. Although radio signals have been picked up from Proxima b's vicinity, they are probably just background noise from the environment. Any civilization on the exoplanet would need to either build strong mirrors or use brilliant LED-style lights to illuminate its cities in order to combat the continual radiation. This might enable us to find them. For this reason, a group of researchers led by Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb proposes utilizing the near-infrared instrument of the James Webb Space Telescope to look for telltale evidence of LED light waves in the light from Proxima b and its host star. These artificial light fingerprints may indicate advanced alien technology if they are found. Furthermore, by examining the light curves from the exoplanet and its star, the team has been looking into the possibilities of finding artificial lights on Proxima b's dark side. They tested two alternative scenarios, one in which the artificial lighting has the same spectrum as LED lights on Earth, and the other in which it has a narrower spectrum and emits the same amount of light as all artificial lighting combined. They discovered that the James Webb Telescope would be able to detect artificial light that is the equivalent to LED lamps and accounts for up to 5% of the star's power. If the telescope is able to identify narrowband light that resembles LEDs, it will be possible to characterize the planet's atmosphere, use tools to gauge the amount of energy transported there, and calculate the light curve to see if it matches an LED light source. The JWST Exposure Time Calculator was used by Loeb and his team to come to the intriguing conclusion that Proxima b might exhibit signs of artificial light. Prior to the observatory's inauguration, the program allowed those to forecast what can be observed during a certain time period based on established criteria. They found that the light shining onto a permanent night side would be more intense and more likely to be picked up by the JWST if civilization was forced to live in constant darkness. Standard LEDs that are 500 times more powerful than those currently in use on Earth, as well as artificial illumination of a similar magnitude, will be detectable by JWST. The discovery of Proxima b and the new detailed image provided by the JWST have significant implications for the search of for life beyond our solar system. Proxima b is one of the closest exoplanets to Earth and could be a potential target for future missions to study its atmospheres and search for signs of life.
The GWST's capabilities will also allow astronomers to study other exoplanets in great detail, providing valuable insights into their potential for habitability and the conditions necessary for life to exist. This could lead to new discoveries and a better understanding of the universe and our place in it. This finding is noteworthy because it indicates that there are many potentially habitable planets like Proxima b in the cosmos, with every star probably having at least one planet in orbit around it. What do you think about the potential for extraterrestrial life on Proxima b? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up. It will help us understand our audience and allows YouTube to suggest similar videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you at the next one.